Hey man, what it is? This is Dame, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go to PayPal at Dame by any means. There go to Cash App dollar sign dean by any means y'all already know what i'm about to say i don't care if you leave two dollars two hundred dollars two thousand dollars all the support is much 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 appreciated you can't fake it until you make it in boxing y'all what you're gonna do when 40k is all you do you're gonna try to um try to be something that you aren't and this is a lesson that all boxers can learn from Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney and this whole circus and fiasco. Um, when you talk about faces of boxing, you know why Floyd was so popular? Because Floyd actually, no matter what he talked, he backed it up. Most of the faces of boxing and the people who actually become pay-per-view stars, Oscar De La Hoya didn't do all this talking. He was a pay-per-view star. Mike Tyson did, but Mike Tyson is also, y'all know, I think one of the more overrated guys ever. That's just my opinion. Don't kill me. What you come to realize in boxing is you got to actually be a star. Acting like a star is not going to make you a star. Actually being a star is going to make you a star. Canelo Alvarez don't do all that yapping and lying and capping. Well, he do be lying. But what I mean is as far as he was... Canelo lies about deals that's on the table and who he will fight and who he won't and the things like that. But he's not lying on other fighters. He's not clout chasing. Canelo's actually the least clout chasey boxer in boxing. That's the one thing I got to give Canelo. Canelo don't care what nobody think. He ain't he know he going to do what he want to do. Right, wrong, or indifferent. But he ain't out there running his mouth. You know, when people challenge him or say something to him or ask him a question about somebody, you know, like the Jamel Charlos and all of that. Yeah, he give his opinion then. But for the most part, Canelo not on Instagram, Twitter, doing these back and forths. He just went out there and been, and just was a star. It just is what it is. You could see the talent. David Benavidez is going on his way up. He don't do all of that stuff. But people want to see him fight. Regardless. People still want to see him fight. Earl Spence. Earl Spence talk a little, but he backs it up. Earl Spence don't duck. Earl Spence don't lie to the public. Earl Spence don't be misleading. That's why a lot of people like Earl Spence, because he keeps it 100. He's one of the biggest stars in boxing that we've had in the last 10, 15 years. Gervonta Davis. Gervonta Davis just let everybody know who he is. And that y'all can't mess with me, but he's not clout chasing these other guys. He has no need to do it. They talk about him. He's just the guy that's going to respond. Unlike Earl and Canelo, they'll respond, you know, if they get asked a question or here and there. Gervonta just going to respond from the door. But he ain't got to do all that. He don't talk that much. Gervonta barely do interviews. But none of that matters because he backs it up. He just is a star. It's not nothing he's trying to be. He just is. You don't have to try to be in life. You either are or you aren't. There is no making yourself this. You can't make people like you. And I hope that every boxer realizes that's not how you build your career. You build your career by knocking people out, by being dominant in whatever fight style that you are, and back up what you say. And move with integrity. And actually fight the best without all of the hogwash in between. Because it clouds things. Because what it does is people that may not be quite on your side at first if they respect your moves and how you are as a boxer and then you go out and beat one of the people that they think you can't beat they'll inch closer to you and give you your credit and be willing to pay for your fights and support you going on you can gain fans you can take other people fan base but it's the way you have to go about doing it like David, Benavid like David Benavidez is doing with the Mexican population. It's a way that you do things. And David Benavidez is a prime example of the way you do things. Jerron Ennis. Now, I think that Jerron Ennis needs to talk more and, and, and do a little bit more of what I say other fighters don't do because he don't do it at all. 
but he's still getting mentioned on the break. Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence and all of them, they can't go nowhere without somebody asking them about Jerron Ennis. You got to be, you got to actually be a star. I keep telling y'all, if Devin Haney would have just stuck with, I'm going to outbox everybody. You, y'all can't, y'all can't rock with me. I'm going to outbox everybody and actually took the American dream, buttoned up. You know, we from the mud, we from the dirt, but we very respectful and we want to show y'all how to do the business of boxing. Devin could have took that route. Without having to do all the clout chasing, I truly believe if Devin would have took the more clean route, how he started off his career and just stayed on that path, he would be a bigger star. Because you know why, y'all? You know why? Because fighters that's like that, that's black fighters, that's not super, um, it's kind of the opposite of what Gervonta Davis represents. A bunch of tattoos from the hood. He's not that eloquent in, in his speaking patterns and the things like that. You clearly know he's from the gutter. He's never going to all the way get the Caucasian fan base. But Devin Haney, he could have had the black fan base you know, the scholars and, and, and everybody that's the, the middle class black fan base and the Caucasian people taking that route. Being the most buttoned up, doing what Sugar Ray Leonard used to do. If Devin Haney would have took Sugar Ray Leonard's path, he would be an even bigger star. But doing all of the hogwash and everything in between, it just makes you look goofy and it turns people against you, especially a lot of the things that him and his daddy be talking about. Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia was in the perfect position to be the next big star in boxing, period. He already had the social media. He got the looks. He got the skin complexion. Let's not leave that part out neither. He got the skin complexion. He's from California. He had the same blueprint that the guy he signed to, Oscar De La Hoya, had. All Ryan Garcia had to do was play the pretty boy role, the slick player role, the smooth guy, and go in the ring and knock you out. That's how De La Hoya got his name, Golden Boy. But when you do all the weird stuff and, and the crazy comments and, and these outbursts on social media, it turns people against you. See, you're gaining fans, but all for the wrong reasons, though, Ryan. It's not about always how it's not all always about how much money you get in. Sometimes it's about how you're getting the money. The route that Oscar De La Hoya took was sustainable. The route you're taking, Ryan Garcia, is not sustainable to stay a star. You'll just be a star for a hot second like a lot of rappers are. And then a couple years from now, we're not going to hear about you. If you take if you get knocked out by Devin Haney, this is over. All of this is over. But if you would have took the player route, the smooth Mexican from L.A., the pretty boy who got the power to knock you out and actually hone in on your craft and became the best boxer you possibly could be, actually be dedicated the way De La Hoya was, you could have had all that. And you would have been doing it in modern day times where your bag would have been astronomical. You know, similar to the bag you got with Javante Davis. Y'all don't have to do the stuff that y'all do to become stars. You got to be strategic in this game. This is why you need PR teams. This is why you need to take your business manager, Marty. Shout out to my guy. This is why you need good representation. This is why you need to take the business of boxing serious and take your craft every bit as serious as you take the PR. Not overpricing yourself, not out there burning bridges um, with promotional companies and things like that. Keeping lines of communication open. When you muddy the waters with all of this hogwash, you know, with all of this contaminated air, that's exactly what you get. Not selling out the Barclays. Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia should should be selling this building out weeks ago. Could you imagine the pretty boy, that smooth talker, that the ladies love with the power coming up there, very respectful and buttoned up, and then Devin, the American dream, Haney, the black guy coming from Oakland, from the trenches, 
who father speaks. Imagine if Bill was the kind of the, the same charismatics had the same charisma, y'all, the same charisma, but just without all the capping. The American dream, Haney, what, the, what, what every black, young black man should be striving to be. If he had that persona, oh man, this would have been through the roof. It'd have been through the roof. Y'all see how Floyd became, was pretty boy Floyd. He started off and he ran with that. Then he became Money Mayweather and everything was about the bread. It was a marketing strategy though. He stayed consistent. I don't want you to think of me um, um, for this. I don't want you to think of me for that. I want you to know that can't none of y'all beat me and I'm going to get the most money while doing it. And he stuck to that the whole time on the second half of his career. After already putting the work in that I was telling you that I, that Devin and Ryan should have been doing. Once you become a star, now you can start doing a little bit more. Going a little crazier. Talking a little bit more. Canelo didn't start off doing this. How Canelo is so quick to snap back in interviews and come at people and call people a bum panday. He just won panday. Like... That didn't, Canelo wasn't always like that. He built up to that. But y'all don't hear me, though. But look, man, I hope every boxer take keys to these lessons. That clout chasing and faking it till you make it ain't going to never get you nowhere, man. It's not going to get you the result that you want. Get a marketing strategy. Get a team. Get a plan. And you take that. If you're going to be the villain, be the villain from the door. Bernard Hopkins. If you're going to be the trash talker and the, and the charismatic guy, do that from the door and stick with it, Muhammad Ali. But you could do it in a graceful way, in a playful way, in an entertaining way. What y'all are, do are doing is just a bunch of nonsense. So y'all know what this is, man. Game by any means. And I holler at y'all.